Alright guys, so we have today the Shadow War Armageddon new game um, released by GW, uh, I'll give a shot. Um, so it's for those that remember it, it's a bit like Necromunda, basically Necromunda 2.0, which is awesome because Necromunda was a good game. Uh, now, instead of just being the gangs on Necromunda, instead you have uh, in a hive on Armageddon, you have um, different factions on the 40k universe. So, in this case, in the box, you get scouts and uh, orcs. So, Billy just scouts and goths, that's a fix. So, yeah, so let's have a quick start being inside. Yeah. So, we're going to use this as our backup. So, boring, but we get some dice. You get old misfire dice from my artillery days in one fantasy. Um, and you get scatter and a couple of uh, generic D6s. That's alright. Um, we'll go through the less interesting stuff. In this case, it would be the Orc Boys. I know Orcs are cool, but it doesn't matter actually. But uh, this is just a generic Orc Boy box. So you get plenty of shooters, plenty of choppers, and like, I guess they're called choppers even to change all the tickets. Um, and then, yeah, you get a big shooter, I think you get a rocket launcher, and you get enough for it to make an Orc knob with a power claw and stuff. So you get uh, Urban Boys, I think it is, and one knob, or it might be ten boys and one knob. But yeah, you get, get basically a box set of orcs. Nice and easy. Some more boys. You get two sets of scouts. So they go to make one unit, but you get um, this unit of Bolter slash close current map uh, scouts. So you get obviously a head Bolter, shotguns. Sorry, I do this a uh, bit of a busier time, but. Butter, send the scouts, scouts through. And you get some cyber scouts, so you get missile launcher, you get these camera cloaks, which is quite cool, and you get sniper rifles. So, yeah, nice, nice and easy, guys. Uh, we get, strangely enough, 25mm bases. Now, I would assume that we would be on 32, this but there you go. Right, let's get into some interesting stuff. So, we have which is probably the most exciting thing for me in this box, besides the actual rules, like the rules are really good, but you might be able to hear what we're getting now. We have the new scenery. So this stuff looks awesome. New ways, new stuff to play on in 40k. I've so got like a... Um, what looks like a silo, probably for refueling human legs. Um, so yeah, get even interior details in here. Try and, try and bring that up for you guys. There's some quite cool interior details in there. And then uh, the actual thing itself is obviously designed to all go, yeah, so you can't see into it. But you get all these details. So you can choose to put the door here, you can have it open or closed. So obviously a way in. Uh, that's quite cool. And then we have, uh, it gets one of those screws about this thing. We have this quite interesting thing. I guess it's like a power plant or something. I guess this might go on top of that last one. And then you have these bits added to it. So quite cool. Uh, you know, you've got, got events and stuff, and your uh, entrances in. Ooh, it's actually, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's actually a see through. So obviously, you've got something behind it. Like probably a fan or something. Or one of these bits up here. That's nice to play along. Yeah, there you go. Quite easy. It's quite cool. Uh, definitely going to get some of this stuff for the shop. Uh, for probably from my own personal question as well. So, whoop, sorry. So, you've got this bit as well. This is definitely like the tops of it. And then, got all quite like intricate detail going in everywhere. So, it's actually going to be quite fun to, uh, to add into boards and stuff. Um, you can make a whole board that's like gantryways and stuff. Which, speaking of, you get gantryways. Uh, so, you get a couple of both things. Uh, two of the same screws, which I'll show you in a second. One of the one and this one. So, get this giant thing that hangs down. So, you know, it's Imperium, it's all probably about schools. Um, and this obviously hangs down from somewhere. It's designed probably to grab stuff and move it around, like a cargo holder or something. Uh, and yeah, obviously these are the walkway bits. So these will be up, like here, for example, off the, off the board, and then you move your measures around. It's quite cool. Uh, I know some other companies do uh, get a as well, and they're always quite cool to play on. So it'd be nice to have some proper 40k theme boards. Uh, and how about this one? This one's your uh, like supports to actually keep the gadget up and you get ladders so you can go up and down it. 
So you can play quite an intricate game of, obviously, Armageddon, if you get a couple of these and build them on top of the board, it'd be quite cool. Um, and then you can, or you could make a crazy, like, 40k one, that'd be quite cool as well. Uh, there's some bits of speaker views in it, Zone Mods has, which is quite cool. And a bit that's the board, depends if, because it's about a bit tall if you're using the four drive ones, but if you make your own or something, quite cool. Uh, and then you obviously get more gantry waves, extra gubbins to add on to places. And these, sorry, and these are quite the things that connect to the supports, which is quite cool. And you get your yeah, yeah. two of these things through. I'm just going to show you that you get two, and I'll just have a look at one. So you get uh, these probably link into the actual silos, or have other ways up and down, because you've got a hatch here. And these, more, these are more like side railings, for those sort of things. They go on the sides to make sure people don't fall off. You know, health and safety in the 41st one. And then you obviously get ladders, more of these cargo holder things, and then more of these connectors. Yeah, awesome scenery to come with this. Then you get the uh, card stock thing, which has, ooh, expand your battlefield. So more terrain coming. And that's been seen before. There you go. Uh, which is quite cool. So you can make, so you get, what's this? Uh, atomic stack. So I'm going to butcher the names for this. Ferrotonic furnace, galferic magma vent, <laughs> uh, ferrotonic incinerator, and a promethium forge. So that's quite cool. It looks like there's a couple of those that, like add the two kits together ones. That's cool. Uh, you get red coloured uh, templates. Uh, you know, blast, large blast, small blast, and then um, flamer, it's quite cool. Which is red, should be different. And then we get lots and lots of tokens. So like a hatch, whatever this is. Uh, and you get, looks a bit like a bomb or something, or like a you can cash them. And you get these, uh, like care packages or something. <laughs> and then you get, um, from what I've seen, these are run, I think these are like aim or something, and then Broken and hiding, from what I've heard. Cool. And then, let's have a quick look in this. The rule book. Yeah. So this is the rule book. Obviously, it comes all the telephone there, uh, so it has some extra stuff with it behind it. So we get, we get instructions. All important instructions. These are quite old style, actually. You know, I, mean, I remember these from back in the day. Back in the day. Uh, orcs, scouts and scouts. Nice and simple, so you have to put those marks together. And then you get instructions on how to put scenery together. Uh, yeah, silo, yeah, silo and stuff. Um, platform, yeah, basic stuff. Yeah, build some scenery, play with it. Yeah, in the action shot, uh, which is cool. It's exactly what we want, we want to be able to build this scenery. It's really nice scenery. I don't know if I've said that enough already. Then we have a little getting started um, pamphlet explaining, you know, how we're going to play this game. So let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So, obviously it's a quick run through of, this is how you play the game straight off. You know, how it all works, moving, shooting, you know, injuries and stuff. And then a quick injury table, you know, then firing and everything. Basically a quick rundown of an old class as a scout, uh, which is cool. So the yeah, injury table looks very much like the up a little bit. The old necromancer one. It's flesh wound and then it's down and out of action. I wonder if you go out of action if you get beaten in combat anymore. That might be a little misremembering, but and then we've got this. The actual book. So we're gonna have a quick flip through. So guys go. And we've got some uh, artwork. It's a little older than it is artwork. Nice. Bit of fluff, you know, explaining what the hell's going on and on again. Then we get into our core rules, uh, which, like in this one, so yeah, everyone's got a movement stat, movement stat um, down here. So, a Space Marine Scout is five, a Veteran Guardsman is four, and an Orc is four, and obviously, go through all their stuff like normal. The rest of the characteristics you expect to see. Uh, go through all the different phases, you know, terrain, how terrain works. Um, then we have shooting. So, this one, a bit like old. Uh, old like fantasy and uh, old liquor and everything, like you get different modifiers depending on if it's in cover, if, it, if you're flying overwatch, if you're charging, uh, if you're running. 
supply. Yeah. So all the modifiers. Yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, let's have a look. So you get to wound and everything, you know, how injuries work, pinned fighters, fast weapons of flamers and stuff. And then, you yeah, know, quick, you go to advanced rules. You start to frenzy. What? So then you get, uh, yeah, you know, how weapon, all the weapons work and everything. Ooh, Ogryn, nice. Spings. It's good. Good insights how to create a kill team. We have special scout kill teams, Ashen Midterm veterans, uh, orc boys. And then, yeah, here's some pictures of you know, what you can play with and stuff. Oh, Death Watch. How did Death Watch come to it? So I don't know. Um, uh, and then how to play Shadow War campaigns. And it goes into some campaigns. Which seems to be you know, based upon your sub faction, depends on. Which good you can go for? Steel Legion Captains, Canadians. You got Goths, Blood Axes, Death Schools, Evil Sons, Bad Bites for the Orcs. And then you got different Space Marine factions. Uh, the Sons of Gulliman, so all the other Hobbit successors. Blood Angels, Salamanders, White Scars, Space Wolves, and Angels of Redemption. Obviously, no Imperial Fists, which is a bit upsetting for me, but obviously I don't think I'm again, so it makes sense. But they include the ones that were. Um, yeah, so. Goes some skills, special operatives with Death Watch, veteran apothecaries, and terminators and stuff. Put in space marines, you get orcs. Uh, you get Ashen Materum. Yeah, a quick reference sheet at the back. Everything works. And then, good old, like, the new styled version of the good old, uh, this is a team roster. So if you've played old Bug Bowl or uh, Crank Bug Bowl, I think as well. And then, uh, Decremander and like Gorka and stuff like that, and obviously you get your members to play this. And that's basically the book. Uh, so this is obviously quite cool, quite quite interesting new fun game. It's just basically an old fun game <laughs> back again, but obviously reimagined now with our foot here armies in mind. So Shadow War Armageddon. Um, I know it's a, it went a bit crazy, and for my memory, it's all, it's all basically sold out everywhere, which is a bit mad. Um, hopefully, it gets much more micro some more. I know uh, as of today. Today's filming, which is the 4th, I think it is, let me double check, the 5th, 5th of April, uh, Warhammer Community had a thing online about them releasing the rules in other ways, so that'd be quite cool, because uh, I'm very interested in obviously playing this game and the rules and everything. So, this is Shadow Wars Armageddon, uh, if you can pick it up, I recommend you do so, um, it was quite cool, so you get some scenery, you get some more boys and stuff. If not, don't worry, I'm sure they'll bring out the actual rules separate soon enough. Online, on their actual website, they have a PDF of more additional factions, not just the ones in the book. You like Eldar, Dark Eldar, um, you like so Chaos Space, which means Grey Knights, there's quite a few others. And then um, they said in that Warhammer community thing that they're bringing out more factions, so we'll see how that goes. That, guys, is Shadow Arm again. As I say, if you can pick up, I recommend, I recommend you do so. Uh, it's going to be a very good game. Cheers for watching, guys.